my dear friends so on my website megalits.org I offer to everybody to join me during my expeditions and tours but since the destinations the possible destinations are so many and because I'm quite busy making videos for you it's impossible for me to make an entire website which properly gives information about what these tours and um, expeditions would be if you book one and that's why today in this video I'm gonna tell you all about the exact uh, itineraries of the various possible destinations how to book it also who will be with you on this tour how long can it be according to the destination also often people ask me when they book when they want to book something is this confirmed already or is it under question and how much exactly will it cost what is included in this cost also what is the difference between the tours I offer and other similar offers and much more Okay, so number one, how are the newer tours different from the other alternative history tours? Actually, the answer will differ for each and every destination, but like to summarize in general, the main difference is that the places that I take people to, many of them tend to be less known in the wilderness, off the beaten track, sometimes even places without names. And it is only at some exceptional cases that we will go to any city as such. And the second big difference is that if you don't mind walking, you can see much much more on the New Earth tours. Because I'm quite flexible for people who can be active for many hours, we can do many sites per day or let's say big sites per day with uh, lots of walking well the tours in which you see a fixed schedule like the first day you go to this and this site and it is well known with entry fee and everything is already pretty much known in terms of what is to be expected those are tailored in um, such a way that anybody can manage that much and that's usually not much which doesn't mean that the tour has to be intense and exhausting it doesn't have to be so it I really leave it up to those who are in the group and for those who prefer to enjoy the sights without any hurry for them also the schedule will be adjusted the way they prefer it on a day-to-day -day basis now the next question is what I'm offering a tour in the sense of uh, going to see and we know exactly what we are going to visit or is it an expedition like jumping in the unknown without even knowing what's there? The answer is very different for each and every destination. For example, Central Italy, I've been there many times already and over there you can expect really a very interesting tour of places that uh, I've been to a number of times so that is definitely a tour and the exact uh, sites to be visited you can see them in my videos on uh, Italy, on central Italy well most of the other destinations that are listed and I have on my, in mind I've been there only once so maybe it will be fair to say that you can expect a mixture between a tour and an expedition something like 50 50 and obviously if we are going to a place that i have not visited myself before obviously we are talking about an expedition and what are the destinations to choose from well here on the expeditions page on my website you can find an up-to-date list of where I have been so far along with something like suggested destinations 
But besides that, please, please feel free to propose even destinations that you don't see mentioned anywhere. I have other plans. I see future tours to southern Italy, to Czech Republic and Poland, and also Switzerland, Germany, then uh, France. Basically, I give you full flexibility, you select your own destination, your own dates and simply submit it here. This is how you book. You can find the link in the description of this video. And now in terms of the exact itineraries by destination. The first and most recommended destination is of course Central Italy, ancient Etruria. If you book two-week tour, you will see all the sites that you can see on, in the videos of the three expeditions. So far, the re so far the results of the third one are not published, but they will be published this summer and you need about two weeks to see them all. If you book less than two weeks, then, then you will see only the main sites featured in the videos. Then Turkey, it will be good to have at least two weeks in Turkey, there is so much to see over there. Of course, Cappadocia and the area around Tofion, Karahisar, those are a must. This time, uh, I think we could start, I mean, in the next expedition to Turkey, I don't know when it's gonna be, but it will be good to start at Kushadasa instead of Ankara as we did last time, because uh, on the shores of the Aegean Sea there is also interesting stuff, so maybe that could be the new element in the future Turkey expedition, which will of course include the best uh, sites from Cappadocia and Afyon Karahisar, which you can see in the videos from the first expedition. And then the next destination, Sardinia, the situation over there is like this. The sites are relatively small and uh, we can visit up to 10 sites per day. By the way, I'm continuously looking for local Sardinian people who could m make me, uh, who could help me make sense of what I've saw, of what we saw during the first expedition. So, uh, the second one, whenever it takes place, I think will be 50-50, the best of uh, what we saw earlier this year and a lot of new sites which we could not reach because on my map of Sardinia there are over 8,000, over 8,000 sites. I hope very soon, within weeks or maximum couple of months, I'll be able to publish the video material I have from Sardinia and that will give you a very good idea of what you can expect. Countless nuragis, really at every step, you, while you see one nuragi, most likely in the distance you will spot the ruins of a couple of other nuragis if they are not overgrown by vegetation and Domus de Janus also there are really really lots of them. As far as the Nurangis, maybe there were some 30,000 of them and as far as Domus de Janus the sites as such would be in the hundreds. If we count the individual apartments then it would be in the thousands. So. What I personally enjoyed during the travel in Sardinia is that uh, we don't have those long drives like driving a couple of hours to go somewhere. It is like stopping every 20 minutes for a new site. And even if uh, some of them was locked or not very impressive, we would surely have at least a couple of outstanding sites per day. So. It was uh, nice and refreshing to travel over there. The next destination is uh, Cambodia. It's a destination that can be covered in a week. 
and it's the largest complex of ruins on earth. I agree with that one. Although it's it's from mainstream sources, this time I think it's true. It's just so many temples over there. It takes about a week to see them in detail. The other possible destinations are southern Italy, Spain, mostly northern and central Spain, and France. Those I have not explored much to southern Italy, I have not been at all, never before, so those will be really like expedition style, looking for new things. They will not be a tour, so surprises are possible. And Sri Lanka as well, there are interesting places there, but I've never been there before, so that will be completely new exploration, at least for me. And as far as Bulgaria, that can be only a very short tour in the Rudopi Mountains for those very interesting jumping vehicle tracks, so to say, or whatever it is, at least that's what it resembles, along with this uh, very interesting site called the Tortoises. I usually don't recommend this tour, not because the sites are not interesting, but um, because they are too small. Basically, both of them can be seen in one day, and th uh, then per Pericon is interesting also in the area. There are other rock ruins, but they are not that impressive as, let's say, Turkey. So, I think Bulgaria is suitable only for Europeans who want to have a very short break. As far as uh, what kind of uh, duration should you select for the tour slash expedition, the basic rule is as far as it is outside Europe it should be at least two weeks, except Cambodia. And within Europe anything is okay. If you are looking for a short destination, short and nice, that would be the castles of Romania. That can be done within a few days. The Romanian Sphinx is also in the vicinity. And that I can do, or any, actually, any very short European tour I can do any time of the year. Although usually I travel only October till April, only in the cold part of the year. Maybe for uh, something uh, very short that could be arranged even uh, outside that period. But if you like Renaissance castles, I would definitely recommend to you Romania. I was there very recently. I was uh, amazed. I did not expect this world-class uh, castles without the world-class crowds. So when people consider joining one of these uh, tours, they often ask me uh, who else is coming? Who else will be in the group? So the situation is like this. First of all, it's me, of course, the creator of these videos. And also, usually there will be um, somebody who drives the vehicle, because ground transport is also included in the cost. And also, I have people who have uh, been with me already on a number of expeditions, and uh, they could be with me again in the future. At the moment, I no longer make video announcements or video invitations for each and every expedition, but I may decide depending on the situation, if you book, let's say, a tour, ex tour or expedition, to announce it in a different way. Usually it will be the newsletter, but the situation may change. Or something else that people ask me actually quite often is, do you have a list of expeditions which are like confirmed and we can join them so that the cost will be less, because the more people come, the lower the cost. Well, I no longer publish such list, but I may announce sometimes expeditions on my newsletter, to which you can subscribe at megalits.org. Another question which uh, 
people sometimes ask, especially when they see that a given expedition is announced, is is it confirmed or because um, sometimes uh, there is a minimum and maximum size of the group and uh, people who make groups, if they don't have enough people, then um, they cancel it. No, this is not the case with uh, my tours and expeditions, unless otherwise specified, but it has never been the case so far. Usually if you see something is announced, it means that I'm surely going already, regardless of uh, how many people uh, book in addition or uh, even if nobody else books, the, it's... Uh, I'm going there for my own reasons, for filming, for investigating the sites. So, unless otherwise specified, everything is absolutely confirmed. As far as the actual cost of a given tour or expedition, of course, uh, I can say that for sure only after having the information like the exact destination, dates, hotel class, how many people are you, then I can give an exact quote. There is a sample price on the booking page, but this is just a sample, it will vary a lot according to the destination. Italy, all of Italy is by far the best choice in terms of not only what is to be seen as sites, but also in terms of uh, value for money. What exactly is included is also written clearly on the page about the expeditions at magnets.org. Over there you can find the most up-to-date information. And by the way, no alcohol consumption is allowed throughout the expedition. It is, uh, they're not for people who never drink. You're absolutely free to drink before and after the expedition, but during the very tour, uh, no alcohol whatsoever is allowed during the day or during the night or uh, in any amount or any type of alcohol, everything is uh, simply not allowed and um, that's because I want to keep the etheric space clean so that I can um, feel better the vibrations, the spirit of the ancient places. Because when people um, drink alcohol, there is this uh, dark fog on the astral plane all around them and because all beings are connected exactly like the those pictures of the neurons in the human body that's how we the souls in a group are somewhat connected when we are near actually the fog from the people who drink can even blur the vision of those who do not drink as well that's why there is this absolute ban on drinking during the tours. So thank you very much for considering the New Earth tours and see you at the destination you select.